Hello everybody and welcome to the presentation about the facial recognition server software WVASF950 from Panasonic. Facial recognition by Panasonic. In December 2017, Panasonic Corporation officially announced that they have been chosen by the Japanese Ministry of Justice to provide a solution for the immigration at the Tokyo International Airport. If the government of a high-tech country like Japan decides to go for a solution to be used at a very sensitive an important point of the immigration process, there must be a good reason why. The aim of this short presentation is to highlight the concepts behind the facial recognition technology from Panasonic. Let's have a look at the three major benefits behind the solution. First of all, the algorithm being used by the recognition system based on deep learning achieves an accuracy beyond expectation. Secondly, the cost for a system starts at a remarkably low level due to the system structure. Thirdly, the total system is designed to match various customer needs from small size up to huge sites and is integrated into a variety of well-accepted video management systems. Superior imaging quality of the Panasonic iPro Extreme cameras and the improved algorithm, the facial images taken must not exclusively be shot from front. Even angle views with a variation of plus minus 45 degrees from left or right or plus minus 30 degrees from up or down can be used for successful recognition. A partial coverage of the face, for example persons wearing sunglasses or surgical masks is not a killing argument for the system. Imported images must not be absolutely up to date. For instance, passport images, usually of an age up to 10 years, can be used for blacklisting. The algorithm itself was developed in close cooperation with the National University of Singapore. The American National Institute of Standards and Technology rated the algorithm as world top class accuracy. Let's have a look at the cost benefits. Mostly facial recognition systems are based on cameras which will stream a whole image to the server. At the server side the image is analyzed for faces. The facial area is then used for the face recognition itself. This does not only demand a high bandwidth between camera and server, also the server workload is quite high. Panasonic instead utilizes the unique best shot technology to do a pre-processing within the camera. The camera, equipped with the best shot software, detects the face, cuts out the face image and runs a best shot judgment. If the image is assumed to be good enough for the recognition, it is sent to the server. As a result, the needed network bandwidth can be quite small. Also, the processing load at the server is low. The system is highly scalable. Up to 30,000 faces can be registered in the database. Thus, the solution is applicable to be used in transportation hubs like railway stations, shopping malls or stadiums. Let's have a look at the system scalability. By default, 10,000 faces can be registered in the database. By adding expansion licenses, 10,000 faces can be added for the database. This can be done two times. When the server software is sold, it ships with licenses for up to four cameras. The server capacity can be enhanced in steps of one or four channels. In total, one server can handle up to 20 channels. If more channels are needed, one server can be defined as primary server, controlling up to nine secondary servers. This cluster of servers share the same database and can handle up to 200 channels. Within a management software like WVASM300, up to 10 primary servers can be registered and controlled. A system in maximum configuration can therefore handle 2000 cameras. The Face Pro system WVASM950 has been enhanced by some useful features. The import and export of the face database has been improved. Distinct alarm destinations can be defined per channel. The user interface has been improved by a thinning feature of face images in the face history. Finally, the setup of the cameras to achieve proper results has become much easier. Import and export of blacklists is quite important for various applications like sharing of data between separated branches or as a backup for safety reasons. The revised alarm notification setting permits new operational concepts. For instance, consider a huge shopping mall. The mall management could offer the services of the facial recognition system to dedicated shops in the mall for security as well as for marketing aspects. 
If someone is blacklisted in one shop, this person will be indicated only to the corresponding shop. Within the previous system, WVASF900, a search delivered a number of similar faces close to each other. The newly added thinning of the face history provides a much easier search for security staff. Also, the needed space on the hard disk drive becomes much less. The total system performance is closely linked to the proper planning of camera positions and the camera parameters. The camera setup has become much easier. Due to the IA or Intelligent Auto feature of the iPro Extreme cameras and the super dynamic performance, the setup with a special setup tool being provided from Panasonic can be done quite easily. Using the PTZ camera is even more simple. The system is based on Panasonic iPro cameras. The needed batch dot software is available only for these cameras. The core component of the facial recognition system is the server software WVASF950. As mentioned before, the server comes with licenses for up to four cameras and provides an initial database size of up to 10,000 faces. For upgrading existing facial recognition systems based on the previous model WVASF900, a specific upgrade license is available. If the database needs to be enhanced, the additional face recognition kit WVASFE951 enhances the database size by 10,000 faces. This can be done twice. If more channels are needed, WVASFE901 will add one channel, while WVASF1904 adds four channels at a time. In total, one server can handle up to 20 channels. As the system is a client-server solution and the server itself has no user interface, a client software package is needed. This is the WVASE231 which can be used in conjunction with the Panasonic WVASM300 management software or the VMS Solutions Video Insight or Genentech Security Desk. Thank you very much for your attendance. I hope this presentation was interesting to you. If you need further information, please feel free to contact to your local Panasonic sales team.